Let's take a look at multiplication with exponents. They ask us to simplify it and express your answer as a single term. Okay, well we have g to the ninth times g to the eighth. Notice the bases are the same, right? They're both g. When your bases are the same, you can add your exponents. Because g to the ninth would mean we're writing g out or multiplying g out nine times, and g to the eighth would mean we're multiplying g out eight times. Well, if we're multiplying g out nine times and then another eight times, that means we're multiplying it out nine plus eight times. So we can simplify that and say, okay, nine plus eight is 17. So we would call this g to the 17th power. And notice that only works when the bases are the same. In this case, they're both g. t to the ninth times t to the first. Okay, well, much like the last problem, if I were to multiply this out the long way, I would have nine t's multiplied out and then one more t multiplied out. So all together, I would have nine plus one or 10 t's multiplied out. So we can call this t to the 10th power. Okay, well we saw that our rule was add the exponents when, the basis, when we're multiplying with the same basis. So here we would say q to the 8 plus 7, which is 15th power. q to the 3rd times q to the 5th. Well again, when you're multiplying with the same base, you can add your exponents. So the base is still q, and then we'd add those exponents. 3 plus 5 gives us the 8th power x to the 7th times x to the 9th. Same reasoning here. If we multiplied x7 out x7 times, and then we multiplied x out 9 more times, altogether we would have x multiplied out 7 plus 9, or 16 times. a to the 9th times a to the 10th. Well, our rule is to add the exponents. So we would have a to the 9 plus 10, or 19th, power. u to the 3rd times u to the 3rd. Well, again, the rule is add the exponents. So this would be u to the 3 plus 3, or u to the 6th power. s to the 6th times s to the 5th. Okay, well, the base would stay the same. It would stay s, and we would add the exponents. So 6 plus 5 would give me an exponent of 11. So s to the 11th power. g to the 1st times g to the 7th. Well, we're, our rule is add those exponents. 1 plus 7 would give us an exponent of 8. So g to the 8th power. e squared times e to the 9th. OK, well, the base is the same. We can add those exponents. So e to the 2 plus 9, or e to the 11th power.